तो why are we suddenly seeing a rise of the solar revolution in India? Solar is plug and play. If you think about solar, you just need a piece of land. Panels can be produced in the same day, and they can be transported to the site, and the whole substation and ecosystem can just take four months, five months, six months at max to be brought to life. You think about any other solution. Gas powered power plants are, you know, having shortages in terms of equipment. There are five years delays in terms of a lot of the, those kind of power plants that are being put in the US. Here you have a solution that can be put up as and when you want, plug and play it anywhere that you want, and is reducing cost of power because the equipment cost is falling. Two thousand nine, if you talk about it, would be around twenty twenty two rupees per unit, and today it has fallen off toward one point eight or two rupees. That's a kind of a reduction that. Almost 90% reduction in the cost that we've seen, and when such a technology is reducing cost, it is very tough for its competing technologies to then take over. So you don't have any variables, right? It is not that I need uranium or I need coal or not, I need X Y Z. The power can be generated by a resource which is freely available. There is no fluctuation in terms of the timeline of putting up that power plant, and there is no fluctuation in the equipment cost much. In fact, it is reducing every year. Mm. So that is where it's an insane. Technology, which is going to be dominant, no matter what the world talks about.